guys, so I promised for my vlogging challenge for October that I would kind of shake things up, do some different kinds of vlogs, or go back to visiting vlog subjects I haven't done in a while. So I've decided to do a makeup thing today. It's not exactly a tutorial because I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never done it before, but I thought it'd be fun to try. So I'm going to be doing highlighting and contouring and eyebrows. So, so I'm going to start by applying my liquid foundation. Um, this is Smashbox Studio Skin. I think the shade is 1.1. I don't really know. It's the one right up after the palest one they have. I was using um, HD Forever foundation for a while. I think it was shade 118. Um, but they stopped carrying that shade. Uh, I don't know if they were like discontinuing or what, but I couldn't find it, so I had to switch up my foundation, and so I'm applying that. My little foundation brush. And so that's what I'm doing as a base. Oh my god, it was recording the whole time. So I'm sure the people who are really into makeup and are watching this, I don't know who those people would be. They're probably gonna cringe when they see this because I'm not doing any of this stuff right. Um, I looked for highlighting contouring palettes specifically to do this vlog, but there was a lot and they didn't look right and I didn't know what to look for, so I'm gonna use some eyeshadow instead. I know you could do that, so don't judge me too hard, but I know you're supposed to take the, sh like, the next shade up from whatever you're shade you're using is. Um, so I'm going to be using the 88 Original Coastal Sense Palette. Yes, Coastal Sense Palette. I'm going to be using this like nudie one right there for my contouring. So I got this teal brush and I'm going to be contouring for the maybe a little... I'll blend the shit out of it. <laughs> The idea is to look like a Kardashian. I guess you're supposed to be using bronzer for this part. Oh, I feel like Pocahontas, like a Native American, gearing up for battle. Do I look like I could have a 72 day marriage yet? And act like a fucking idiot? As in a Kardashian. I think already I'm looking pretty chiseled in my face. Is that it? That was a lot faster than I thought it'd be. Am I pretty? I got brown on my face. Oh, well, I mean, you're always pretty. Yeah. Oh, Andrew. All right. So now for the highlighting. I think I'm too pale. So I'm going to use actually the white instead. Oof. Oh, no. So I decided to switch the white to my Too Faced palette. And it, the color is called In the Buff. I don't think that was white enough. That's much whiter. If you're wondering how I know where to highlight, I'm using a guide from Pinterest. I'll include it in the links if this is appealing to you. Is that it? Yes. No. Okay. Now for some blush. I don't think that that's right. So I'm not really sure. I think you're supposed to do... I feel like you're supposed to do the blush last because I feel like if you do the blush now it, and I try to blend it, because the next part is blending, it's going to turn my whole face pink. So I'm going to blend it. I have this blush brush I specifically bought for this for by ELF and it's super, super soft. But I'm going to blend. I think I'm supposed to be blending this with like a setting powder. Um, I don't feel like messing with that. Alright, I think mm, it looks like a bruise in some places. I'm definitely more defined though. I feel. Alright, now for the blush. I have this little uh, makeup briefcase thing, and I think it's from the color workshop. It's like I think they're the kind you can get at Walmart. And I'm gonna use my blush from that. And I'm gonna use like the lightest pink one because these other ones seem a little too garish for my taste. So I'm gonna take a little of the light pink blush and put it on the that didn't do anything. Alright, I'm gonna use the next shade up. I put them, put that on the apples of my cheeks. I do know that. That's showing up a little bit better. Take that apples. Feel like that's enough blush. Can you see it? This 
short. Now I'll do my eyebrows. Um, I've never done any coloring to my eyebrows before, but I guess you're supposed to go pretty much the same shade as your as your eyebrows. Now I do know for sure that you can use eyeshadows for your eyebrows, so I'm gonna use um going back to the Coastal Sense palette. I'm gonna use this one that's like right above black. Uh, oops, right there. It's a brown though. And I, I know you're not supposed to use this brush. Wow, that's working way better than I thought. I think. Oh, my eyebrows are so dark now. So I filled in my eyebrows. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Now I'm going to do my lips. This is actually something I do do. Um, sometimes going in still with that Kardashian look, um, I like to take a brown eyeshadow and outline my lips to kind of make them cooler looking. It's, um, I'm using the Like a Virgin for my Too Faced palette. And then I'm going to take like a, the, a pale pink eyeshadow, oops from, um, again, from my Too Faced palette, it's called Pink Cheeks. I'm going to put that, fill in my lip with it, which may seem weird, but it'll work once I put a gloss over top. I'm going to go over all of that with a clear lip gloss, and it kind of blends the lines out that I made so I don't look so harsh, but I have done this before. I've worn it as a lip gloss. And see, it looks, makes my lips look a little fuller. So I do not feel like committing to a super heavy duty eye thing. So I'm just going to do a smoky eye. And I'm not going to do the eyeliner for it. So I'm going to take the Ever Faithful Too Faced palette. I'm going to use Stiletto, which is the black I use for anytime I want to use anything black. It's the go-to black I go to. I'm just going to take my little blendy crease brush and... Um, I usually put primer on, but I'm not doing anything after this, so. So if you really want to know what I'm doing, I'm taking um, some black and I'm putting it in the corner, outer corner of my eye, like heavily, and then I'm just dragging it, like brushing it across the rest of the eyelid. So it's kind of like darker in one corner and then lighter, like a gradient thing. I kind of blend that up into the crease of my eye. And then I'm going to go over it again because I don't feel like it's dark enough. I'm going to do it underneath a little. So now I got like a smoky eye. And then usually I would do like liner. And then mascara. But I don't feel like taking that all off after this video. So that's my contouring and highlighting makeup tutorial. I'll take my hair down now. So that's me experimenting with highlighting and contouring. Sorry it wasn't too explanatory, but I was kind of learning as I went myself. So I hope you liked it. I hope it did the highlighting contouring justice. Here's a little break from the booktube videos. I do have some more booktube videos coming out, unfortunately, because I did finish another Harl Stein book, so I'll have that coming out. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. Love you guys. Bye.